back in the garage, back back in the garage, in the garage, in the garage, back in the garage today, back in the garage, back in the garage today. What's up guys, back in the garage today, making a slight modification to my 2017 KTM 250 XCF. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so unlike old school dirt bikes that had metal uh, subframes that came up here, you grab one, two, God, this thing's dirty. This KTM has a composite subframe, meaning this is mostly plastic going back through here. So in order to take this thing off the side stand or load it up in the truck, moving it around, whatever, I gotta grab a hold of the muffler. Now it's normally not hot, but it's a round shape. It's kind of slippery. So I'm going to install a grab handle that goes here to give me something to hold on to. This is a KTM power parts piece. You can see it retails. Maybe you can get a look at the uh, part number there. It retails for around 40 bucks. In addition to give me something to grab onto when I'm moving it on and off the stand, uh, my truck bed is only six and a half feet long, meaning my bike doesn't fit on it perfectly. So I end up bouncing the rear end around when after we get Noah's bike loaded on. So being able to grab a hold of this would make it much, much easier. The other great thing about this is if you do get stuck out in the woods or you dump your bike, it gives you another area you can grab onto in order to get back on the trail and get going again. All right, so included in the kit are some installation instructions. They're actually color and they're gonna be super simple. So uh, let's get to putting this thing on. All right, so the first thing we need to do is remove the two silencer bolts. There's obviously one through here and one through here. They're eight millimeter bolts and we're not going to be reusing them. All right, we got the two bolts removed. All right, so in the pack here, we have a couple spacers. One is shorter than the other. We're actually gonna take the longer one. It is going to go up front here. I'm gonna to have to come in behind the panel. And then the shorter one is going to go in the back. These bolts, just FYI, are the same length. We're gonna get this one put in back here now. We're not tightening these up. I'm just kind of getting them in the holes there so they're somewhat aligned uh, because obviously we gotta put the grab handle on too. All right, now the handle's gonna fit on here like this, so I don't really think it matters what order we go in. We just wanna make sure, just kinda get that started so it bites. It's obviously not biting the whole way because I just saw the exhaust drop. Now you are gonna need an Allen head in order to put these in. I'm guessing that's a five, so let me go grab one. If you wanna torque these back to spec, it's uh, 10 newt meters, or you can just hand tighten them. It's not that big a deal. There we go, it's installed. All right, so it might not be the coolest thing you can install to your bike. I mean, it looks okay. It kind of takes away a little bit from the fact that I use this bike to race with, but uh, it should make life a little easier. So I'm going to test it out because I'm getting ready to change the oil, and I want to see if it helps uh, getting it off the stand here. All right, so it did actually help make getting the bike off the stand just a little bit easier. I'll be interested to see how I like it after I get to use it, you know, over the next couple of months. And I'll be sure to let you guys know if it's a worthwhile thing. I mean, it's 40 bucks for a piece of metal that bolts onto your bike. But um, I was thinking it would be more helpful when I'm loading it up into the back of the truck. And uh, I did bury that thing in the mud a couple of weeks ago, and it would have been nice to have a little extra something to grab onto. So um, anyway, that's the install of one of the grab handles on a 250 XCF KTM dirt bike. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider hitting that subscribe button because if you like motorcycles, well, this is the place to be. If you have any questions about the install, maybe you're watching this video a few months from now and you wanna know how I like it at this point in time, let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, I'll talk to you again soon.